Hello guys and welcome to this video and today we're gonna see how to upload images to Cloudinary with Malter as a middleware. So I will keep it very very short for you so you can get back to your code and actually upload the images. I've created a basic server right here which takes this route api.users and calls our controller which is which I've called upload route. You, you can call it whatever you want. So firstly what you have to do is install the packages and that is Malter and Cloudinary, and I will do this again. Although I had these, perfect, it's done, it's very quick. Then what we have to do is set up our Cloudinary config file. And you can pause it here and copy paste the code. This is very simple. And also we'll leave you a GitHub link for this one. So you can copy the code better if you don't want to type it. So what we do here is we give our cloud name, API key and our API secret key from Cloudinary. After we create a free account there, we can have these keys in our profile. And you just copy and paste them here as strings. Okay, it's going to look like this. It's going to be your number. What I've did here is I've used .env files, so they are not shown in, in video. Perfect. So next one we have malter middleware so what malter does is it takes the file from the front end when you click upload image and it stores it temporarily into the disk and after that we will upload it to cloudinary so malter takes uh, multi-part form data meaning the form data from our front end and it stores it into the disk stores that's very very basic and we can later access that one to upload it to Cloudinary. So first run Smalter as a middleware, then the Cloudinary upload function. Perfect. And you can also find this code into the GitHub repo. Perfect. So the last thing we need, and it's very basic again, it is the actual upload controller, which I've named here route upload.js. So firstly we need express, then we need a router. Then, then, we, then we need we need express.router, which I've named router here. And next we need to have Cloudinary, which is our file right here. We require that one. And then we need, I've called this upload. You can call it whatever, Malter upload or Malter or whatever you want. So this is going to be our Malter middleware, which is this one right here. And we have required it. We have required it like so. So then, oh, we go router, which is our express dot router dot post. We have a post method, and it's gonna be the endpoint of slash upload. And then we call malter, which is our middleware dot upload single, with the keyword image. So when we go, so when we go to the front end, everything that has a keyword of image is gonna be recognized by malter, and it's gonna be uploaded as, as a single image. And then we have a function which has a rec and res. And in this uh, nameless function, we call cloudinary.uploader, which is a function from cloudinary. And then we call dot .upload. And the next, we call an anonymous function, which has an error and a result. So if we have an error, we just log that error, standard.json, error message. And if everything is good, we're going to send the status code of 200 and the JSON message of uploaded. And we export this at as router. Then we come to the final part of our video and it is requiring that con controller that took the Malter as a middleware and also runs the logic into our server. And we, we are going to paste it here. So this is going to run as a controller. When we go to localhost 5000 API slash users, we are calling in this function and this is going to go to slash upload and it's going to be a post method and all the logic is going to run. Perfect. So let's test this out. Let's go to postman guys slash user slash upload. I've al already done an image, so I will do it again. No, the server is not running. Okay. Do it like this. Okay. And let's upload the image. Okay. Select an image, open, it's loading, it's uploading, or should I say, yep, and it is all done. Now we can go into Malter, and if we refresh, 
there should be another image here. Yep, here is another image. And that's how we upload images to Cloudinary. I hope this was helpful to you guys. And yeah, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and a like. And to consider subscribing to the channel, I will be... Soon I will be posting a blog application, which is going to be a full stack blog application. It's going to be really cool and informative. So yeah, stay tuned.